Hello, my name is Katie and welcome to my video. I'm here today to film a tag that I thought sounded really fun. It was created by Renee over at the channel The Librarian of Alexandria, which is a fantastic channel name, and it is The Road to El Dorado book tag. Now, I adore the movie The Road to El Dorado, and I thought the props were fairly easy and also just fun. So let's just dive into it. The first prompt is Thulio and Miguel, a book featuring scam artists with good intentions and a heart of gold. The book I chose for this is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. This book is an alternate, uh, an alternate history, I suppose, in which the Axis powers of so Germany, Japan, won World War II. Yael, our main character, was in a concentration camp as a child and she was subjected to some experimentation that left her with the ability to essentially shapeshift into other people. She has used this ever since as a spy with the resistance. She, she kind of uses this ability also to scam her way into this, this motorcycle race called the Axis Tour in which you ride motorcycles from Germany to Japan. Her intent with this is when she she wins, hopefully, she wants to use her, her fame and her prestige to kill Hitler. I think that pretty well fits the prompt. She's, she's, she's pretty scammy. She uses her ability, but she has good intentions with it. The next prompt is Chell, a female character that is clever, quick thinking, and morally gray. For this, I selected Helene from the An Ember in the Ashes series. She is incredibly clever. She's quick thinking. She has to be because she's, she's a mask. But she's also morally gray in that there are a lot of things that the Empire does that on some level she knows is wrong. However, that's just, that's her life. And I think throughout the series, she gets more and more into that morally gray area because she's doing these things that she doesn't want to do, but she feels like she has to do. Really good series. Highly recommend it. I think Helene fits the prompt. Prompt three. Well, it's not a pry bar. A situation in a book when things turned out different, but better than planned. Now, for this, I'm going a little outside the norm of what I think usually you would see in tags like this. And I'm going with A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tools. In this book, a man is convicted of being like a spy, I suppose. I read a lot of books with spies in them. Anyway, and he is sentenced to live in this hotel for the rest of his life. He's not allowed to leave it. And this initially sounds horrible because that's no life to not be able to leave your room, like, well, to not be able to leave this hotel. However, things end up turning out much better than planned, and I think in the end he actually feels as though he led a pretty good life. Prompt four, Cortez, a villain that scares you to pieces. I don't typically get that scared by villains. However, Mexican Gothic by Silvia Marino Garcia. There is a villainous man and if you have read this book, you can probably envision the scene I'm talking about. And it was absolutely disgusting because we're, we just found out exactly how this villain is what he is. <laughs> and it's, ugh, it was so awful. The description of the, the villain and what was happening to our main character, terrible. The next prompt is Chief, a side character that helps the protagonists. I feel like almost any book I have read could, in fact, be made to fit this prompt. So I'm just going to use the one I'm reading now, which is Cibola Burn by James S.A. Corey. This is book four in the Expanse series, and I would say the main protagonist in this book is James Holden. He has a perspective in all the books so far. And it is basically the adventures of him and his crew that we're following. His entire crew, Naomi, Amos, and Alex, really do help him. There's a lot of times they help him, and frankly, he does not deserve 
their help. He doesn't deserve them a lot of the times. But they're always there for him and they always have his back. So that's what I'm going with for this prompt. Prompt is Follow That Trail, a book that deserves a sequel. Now, I don't find that most books deserve a sequel. Even a lot of books that have a sequel probably didn't actually need one. So I'm going a little off off base with this one. And I'm going with The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. It's not that this book needs a sequel, because it has a sequel. What it needs is the final book in the trilogy. And I think everybody who's read it would probably agree with that. So that was the tag. If you think this is a fun tag, go ahead and do it. I tag you. If you could, please go out and check the original video. I will have that linked in the description box below. If you also have read any of these books, or if maybe you disagree with my selection, please let me know. I think it'd be fun to chat about. If you like my content, then subscribe. Stick around. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.